Jedi fans, welcome back to another episode of Imperial Galactic Survival. This is your host, Zila, and we are here to do in the Alpha 8 Experimental series, and it is got a new update. The very first one for Alpha 8, <clears throat> apparently they've modified the avatar, how it can... Um, uh, how it adjusts to heat changes and temperature, well, temperature changes. So we'll see. Um, that in itself would not have made me restart, but um, there is uh, a significant change to the play field when it's generated. It is now getting generated with double the amount of POIs, and uh, the resources are spread out more. So it's same amount overall. It's just... It's just in more small, um, like a whole bunch more, you know, like double the amount of deposits, just just smaller, like half the size. So they're going to be easier to find technically, like that theoretically it sounds like it should be easier to find deposits, right? Right? So I like the sound of that. Um, plus, uh, what else? I mean, those those two things alone, just the POI and the, uh, well, just the POI, doubling the POI would warrant a, a new regame, uh, a new game start. So, you know what? Let's just jump into it. Let's do it. New game. Uh, starting on this seed here, let's take a look at its settings. We've got, um, okay, gravity's fine. Uh, we'll go with those. I was going to go with the 39 degrees planet start to see what that's like with the, with the heat instead of the cold. Um, still, I don't know. If, I don't know if that's going to matter. I'm probably still going to be at 14 degrees the whole time. Right. So, um, oh, but the atmospheric density is actually lower than, okay. So that's going to be actually beneficial for our, um, weapons that can't cut through the the atmosphere. So, okay, okay, that sounds good. Let's just go with the seed. Um, alpha eight, eight. Uh, we'll do a build number fifteen ninety seven. Okay, so this is the uh, first update to the to Alpha Eight. A very, very, very minor one, really. It didn't even change. It's still like eight point zero point zero. So just the build changed. Okay, let's jump in. Oh, you saw that it was medium settings there too. You can go back and you'll see. <laughs> uh, so. Yeah, this should be more interesting. I think the resources are probably going to be easier to find, right? Because there, there's like double the amount of them, just half the size. I'm okay with that. It just means a little bit more digging and running around. But I think, I think uh, when the planets are so huge. Okay, so what do we got here? Let's do a quick spin around. It looks like a wreckage over there. Um, I. Oh, a couple of wreckages up over here. Okay, so yeah, let's let's go for it. Let's go for that wreckage there. Oh, and an iron deposit right off the bat. So, and the other wreckage. Okay. Okay. That's a big bloody rock. So, uh, again, like last time, I'm going to skip the Robson protocol because it is a huge time sink with very little reward. Um, and I, I want my gear right now, day one, when it counts. Thank you very much. So, uh, if you guys want to see what the Robson protocol is like now, I would suggest going and uh, seeing if Haldemar has his uh, live stream posted yet as an archive. 
Um, he did that. <laughs> and you'll, <laughs> if you really want to do it, then go ahead. But, uh, you know, I'll let you go check that out on your own. Uh, also, um, the other YouTuber that I know of that did that also was uh, Mick Monster Dad. Uh, check him out too. And I'll find their links and um, uh, put them in the descriptions at the beginning of this video. If you, those are those are for for those of you that really 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 want to see the new game experience through the Robson protocol. Go ahead and check it out. But I'm not going to be doing it because I did it without recording, and I just. It's, it's something that really, really is not my play style to a survival game right off the bat where, where not only were you just completely fighting with the temperatures and stuff like that and trying to find food, but, but you don't even get your gear because you have to go on a quest for it. So it was, it was difficult. It was much more difficult than it needed to be. And... <clears throat> I mean, stuff was already spawned by the time you could even get a drill up and going type thing. <laughs> it's like, uh, I, I'm not really sure if I'm into that sort of play style. Where that, that, I mean, even on, it just really puts you behind the eight ball. Okay. So, well... Let's just pick every thing we can. And the temperature's holding pretty steady. I like that. Let's see if we can find the cargo box somewhere here. There it is there. A couple of them. Nice. Some pills. Oh, no, that's not one. So it's just one here. Okay, that's, that's okay. Oh, you know what we forgot to do? is we forgot to build our survival tool. Now, um, it's actually really good early on for, uh, especially if you've like, if your drill blows up on you and you're screwed and you need to build a new drill or something, you know, it's, and you don't have the, <laughs> the stuff to do it with. I mean, you can, you can, you can kind of chisel it out with a survival tool and eventually rebuild your entire nation but um yeah we're just we're just going to use it to take this thing down a little bit and oops i was going to put that in my um here let's put that there we don't necessarily need my gun in number one right now let's, let's do this so what we're going to do is we're going to deconstruct mode you can see it uses our stamina and we got uh, steel plates for that. So, come on. And three steel plate for this. So four and three. So so not bad. Uh, does it have anything else in this one? Is there like stuff upstairs? It's too bad I didn't have armor on me. I'd be able to get up there and take a look, but. We're just, we're not going to, we're not going to mess around with this anymore. Let's go on to the, the next one then and, and go for this iron deposit, I think. Uh, another thing I'm just going to point out is we don't want to leave this area here. It looks like is going to be our starting area. We don't really want to leave that area. What we're looking for now is the wreckage. It's usually right in the middle of the area. Like it's, I mean, realistically, I think I should put a marker in the middle. I should put it right beside this uh, little lake over there. Yeah. Yeah, because that covers this whole, that's about the middle of that whole area there, right? Or at least close enough, anyway. So I think we need to go check that out after we dig a little bit of the iron um, 
and get some of this stuff. We actually need all this fiber too and all the food. So let's just let's just pick all this stuff really quick here. And we're not overheating, are we? No. Okay. So we're we're at a comfortable comfortable temperature. So a little better start than last time, I think. Did I pick these already? I already picked these, right? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, they don't have the little uh, little uh, I don't know what you want to call it sticking out of them. <laughs> <laughs> uh, okay. Oh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's see if I can. Okay, so let's find whatever little goodies it's got first. It's got a big thing there. It's probably just going to give us a couple steel plates, though. <laughs> uh, how do we get in here? Do we just jump? Ooh, some real good goodies. Nice. Wow. That's huge. That's some electronics. Okay. Awesome. Awesome, awesome. Let's go get these berries. Is there a dangling? Got to get them. Okay, we're going to We're going to kick these stones. Let's uh get our drill out. <clears throat> So we really, what we're doing right now is we just want to get as much stuff as possible. So I think, but I really should nuke into this iron deposit a bit. I really, I really feel the need to drill into the ground here and, ooh, it's deep. Hmm. Deep and it's 314. It's probably going to take like a whole bottle of fuel to get to it. Well, let's try. Yeah, the thing about smaller deposits, it's usually if they're, if it says that they're, you know, 15 meters, that means you're digging, you're digging a few meters before you even hit it. Yeah, I don't want to, don't want to get myself into a crappy situation here so there. let's give myself some stairs yeah you could technically kill yourself by digging yourself into a hole too far and then uh, not being a good being able to get out and being out of fuel for your drill and run out of food and it happens. <clears throat> Not saying I've ever done that. Not saying I haven't. I'm just saying. <laughs> yeah. So we'll just get some of this. Why? I don't want grass in my iron. That's what zigzags are for. Oh, come on, really? I'm going to get lawn here? Okay. Uh, am I digging myself into a pit? Come on. Oh, I am. Crap. Okay, come on, come on, come on. Okay, what, how much do I got? <sighs> Wish the drone was working. Oh! <gasps> Oh my god! The drone's working! <laughs> Why didn't I try that? I just assumed it was still broken. They didn't say anything about that, did they? I I did glance through it. I didn't see anything about the... Maybe. I, I could have missed that in the patch notes. Oh my god. Okay. Oh, 
Here we go, here we go. Yes, the drone is back. All right. Oh my god. This is like the best part. <laughs> well, let's get our... Uh... Oh, that works still by tab tabbing in and out to get the radar and, and uh, temperature stats back. I don't know why we're getting this grass here. That's just weird. We dig down, we dig a hole through the earth and hit, hit a patch of grass underneath some iron. It's kind of funny. They must be using the same texture for... Oh, I think I saw that. They, they were using the same texture for like... Um, for a certain rock or something and it was if they if they changed if they changed the the one inside the layers it would change what it looked like on the surface so they didn't want to do that i think okay meh whatever so it's just it's really not there it's just it's just rendering fake grass is all it's doing but it's actually iron <laughs> I think that's what's going on right now. I'm sure they're going to fix that eventually. That's fine. It's it's a little weird, but <laughs> I think I I think I read the patch notes on that about that specifically. I I seem to recall something like that. Uh, yep, alphas. Alphas, especially experimental versions. <laughs> it's like the buggiest as buggy you can get of a game is an experimental alpha. And they're fun. Not to say that this game is super buggy for for a for an alpha, it's really solid. Like wow, I am impressed. Like it doesn't crash. It's not airing out all the time. It's just weird bugs like this, you know. Um, eh, stuff I can live with. It doesn't wreck my gameplay enjoyment. And I get to experience the new content, right? Okay, so what are we at here? 130. That's it? Um, kind of need more than that. I mean, and we got... I, I feel like we have a little bit more time now in these starts. I think we've got like a couple of days as opposed to just, you know, one day like we used to have, right? It was a race. The previous Alpha 6 and Alpha 7 races the first day starting to get as much research as you could to get enough of a base and HV going so that you didn't have to ride the motorcycle around, basically. If you accomplish that, you pretty much beat the game. <laughs> Not really, I'm just... It was... The toughest, toughest component to this game is literally the very start of it. If you can weather the start, you are probably going to do fairly well. If you get a decent vehicle up, you're going to probably survive for uh, enough to be able to get your, you know, even if you do die, it, it's not going to, you're probably not going to lose all your stuff, type thing. Or maybe you do, I don't know. But, yeah. Yeah, these experimental branches are, are where I die the most, that's for sure. That is for sure. They're always fun. Bugs that kill you. It's the ones that... Okay, I think we got enough now. Do we have enough now? I, uh, I want to get to 200. I, I, I need the 400 ingots. 
I need 400, 400 ingots. I, it's, it makes life easier <laughs> to start. I don't want to go plant my butt somewhere until I got like 400 of each like type of of stuff. <clears throat> Okay, so three more, and we're geez, we've almost mined this one out. By the look of it, we'll have to come back to it. I don't want to spend all day mining one resource, especially when we'll have a sufficient amount to start. Okay, I think we've done it. Yeah. Okay, so let's let's drone out of here. <coughs> And so that's where the new marker is. Let's go pick all this stuff here. So that was very good. Very, very, very good. That's pretty much the iron we need for our start. I don't see anything else there. And those berries over here, I can go, I just, I can go over there later. I just want to get these berries. Oh, got some plantage here. Yeah, they're over here. There's two, I see them. Oh, a bunch of them, okay. I just have a few, oh, see, we're at 15 degrees again? Really? Really? Is this, is, is, is it? Can it, no, oh, 16. Okay, so we're 17. We're not actually going to completely freeze out again. Okay, well, that's good. Um, Level 3. Nice. Well, let's go check out... Well, let's just go pick all this stuff, too. Wow. This will come in handy. Are these buds? Nope. Get these rocks, too, I think. Six crushed stone, that's it. Oh, no, there's the other one. And eight, so 14. Not bad. Not bad, not bad. I'm going the opposite way. I, let's head this way. Stick to my stick to my plan. Stick to the original plan, right? If you deviate too much from your original plan, then your plan's gonna fail. Just gotta grab everything along the way. Basically, is what. Come on is what we're doing here. Not only is it resources that we are going to desperately need here, but it's also going to give us... Come on. We're... No? It's going to give us good XP too, it w which we really need now. We need to hit level 5 for really what I need. And it's like, ah, oh, it used to be a level 3 item. <sighs> but that's the way it is. <clears throat> and that's my, uh, my little CV base that I spawn in, that I'm going to be spawning in. Because, again, I'm going to live out of vehicles. On this, uh, on this particular alpha, and ooh, what? I hear one. It's went right over there. We're looking somewhere around there, or something, right? Huh. Interesting. Okay. So we might have a meteorite to go check out later on. That's cool. In the meantime, we need to try and find this wreckage because if we find the wreckage we're going to find all the other little nodes around it.
like so far we've just found one iron deposit and i think that's just because it's one of the new the extra ones right that with everything being half as big but just twice as many deposits out there type thing um i think we're still going to get our deposits around the wreckage like the the three different types or four different types or would i i'm not sure about the prometheum though if that's like a tied to the wreckage or not i haven't looked at the yamels at all in this alpha build i have not cracked it open yet at all so i've i've tried to keep it a complete surprise for myself um as a way to experience it right It's funny how massive this planet is now. I'm really liking the fact that you, let's put our shoulder light on. And we're um we head east. We headed east. Wow. Killing the killing the daylight. But really, I mean don't really have a lot of choice at this point. And really, I, I do want to go put down, if I can, if I can find enough resources, which I, I haven't seen any more rocks. So we should be looking out for, let's, um, where is it? There it is. Let's put my flashlight here. Let's actually organize ourselves a bit. This is a horrible organization of my gear. <coughs> Throw that down there too. Stuff that I don't need to um, put into like a constructor or whatever. And let's pull the food down so I can see it. Put some berries. Um, okay, at this point, I don't think I need my gun yet. So let's do that and we'll pull out the flashlight. You can see how much brighter that is. That's awesome. Okay. Um, yeah. So where is the lake? It's over that way. So pretty much the marker. So let's head that way. Okay. Oh, it'd be nice if we found some deposits other than the one iron. What I'd really like is like Prometheum. Then I'd be a lot more comfortable because that's like the only thing you can't generate from rocks. You don't just pick them up casually like you do the other three ores. So I think that's probably my real focus right now is trying to find Prometheum. So let's just keep skirting the forest here as we run through, picking stuff. I'm gonna have to eat soon, soon enough. Oh, let's see, we're level four already, nice, nice. Okay, let's head over to the water. I think we might have to, we might have to worry about getting some water together and making, let's get as many of these buds as we can. Cause we're gonna have to, um, we're gonna have to make some hot beverage, I think pretty quick here. Oh, it's 16, it hasn't dropped yet, but it's like right hovering on potentially getting really cold, right? So, Prometheum, oh, uh, well, I don't have enough of the other stuff, so let's go get the Prometheum. I can't make a 
I can't make a water generator yet. So, I only got the iron. Although I do have a bunch of rocks. I might be able to generate enough for... Let's take a look. Let's take a look. What do I got? 115 rocks. Okay, so with our... Let's throw this down. What's our temperature at right now? Okay, we're not doing too bad. We're not doing too bad. Um, so you can see we can build one iron ore out of 50 crushed stones, so that would give us two iron ore. That's pathetic. Um, 25 per for silicone, so that would give us four silicone. That's still not enough to even smelt. And then, oh, we'd get one ore, one copper for that whole, so still not enough to actually do anything with. So, okay, let's just pick that up and keep going. Well, I, at least we found Promethium right now. That's, that's good. That's huge. Was that a native? Okay, natives are out. Hey guys, you can stab me later. Okay. As much of this stuff, I, I need those buds, I'm pretty sure. I, but they, they might spoil really quick here. The last time I picked a whole crap load, went to the water to like spin them up and only got about half of them because the the other half were already spoiled. It's like, ah. Oh. Ooh. We're getting into the plant protein here. This is really good stuff. What's this? Is this something we can pick? Yep. Confetti moss. Confetti moss. Okay. It's like very specifically named. It's probably... Um, Fetty moss. Didn't you need that for like health packs before? Maybe you do again. So there we go. We're getting confetti moss from from stuff. That's good. Oh, look at this. We got some. And it looks like iron. Okay. Well, we've got some more iron. Woo! That's okay. I'll take it right now. I'll take it. Apparently there's hidden wheat in this grass that you can't see <laughs> and you just randomly click F all the time you'll pick it up. Uh, that's kind of funny. Not sure how true that is. I've, I think I've seen wheat. I have picked it up so I think I'm not sure if I picked it up by accident or not. <laughs> I may have. Uh, Okay, let's, come on, no, okay, let's, uh, we should probably eat something, parish time 33, we're getting down parish time 6, so I think what we need to do is we need to make some stuff, right, so let's eat, that's 102, that's still lots of time, we don't have a lot of water. I need to, to, I need to make a bunch of these hot beverages. I think I just have a feeling that I'm gonna have to stave off the cold. If I have to stave off the heat, I'll pick a bunch of berries and just like, and just like you know, completely overconsume berries, and that'll work. But oh yeah, how much? Water do I got left? Not much. I think I'll consume. I'll, I'll I'll use it all for these hot beverages, though. They they're very effective. Uh, three temperature of three is huge. Okay, um, let's consume some berries. Uh, we'll just put that on the there and go like this and <laughs> just pass
power eat. Oh, damn. I knew that was going to happen. Uh, what do I got? Do I got... Um, do I got anything for indigestion? Uh, I will burn... Nothing, really? Egg. Um, meh. Darn. Um, poison's bite. Don't I have anything against indigestion? Um... Stamina. Uh, no. Crap. It's going to sap me. So, oh, and now it's getting cold. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. See, I'm glad I made those. Uh, I'm glad I made those. What else? The spice. The spice will keep us warm. So... The indigest. I think. Oh, the spice. I think will will fix us, won't it? Isn't it the spice that f that for sweetener? Where's the spice? Indigestion. Yeah, that's what fixes us. Okay. I knew I had something. I just I'll start remembering this stuff. Okay. I really need to actually make stuff out of that. I know I'm I'm in a cold area. I just gotta deal with it. Um, actually, you know what? Here, let's... Well, this is right beside it. That's close enough. Okay, good enough. Okay, um... So we want to put that in there. We want to put that, that, that. Do we want to put that? We want to put that, that. Even that. Yeah, we'll put that. Well, it's not worth much, but it's poisonous bite. Not worth a lot of food either. Okay, so we'll hang on to this stuff. Good parish time. Okay, parish time. Worth good food though. Yeah, so we need to find more of the uh, spice. What's our temperature at? Okay, so we're still hovering at 24. We're okay at 24. So let's let's get some mining done here. And, okay, we've got uh, quite a bit. Okay, so let's do this. So let's make a trail up this way. What? I didn't push R. Oh, you ripped me off a of biofuel. Bloody oh, no, it was probably already out. Yeah, okay. The auto... I forget sometimes about the uh, auto load, and sometimes I rely on it too much. <laughs> oh, temperature's dropping. Crap. Crap. That means my temperature will drop faster when it starts getting even further below 15. So we're gonna we're gonna see how much the cold actually affects us. It, it looks like it's it's not hitting us quite as hard as it used to, because uh, I would already probably have to be um, eating or drinking something right about now to prevent myself from starting to get cold. So, and, and the thing is, is, is I don't want to overeat and, you know, waste food and waste resources, right? So I, I really need my, my body to be able to handle some of the extremes of the environment right now. I just, I just got to be tough. And hopefully they made our avatars a little tougher here. It looks like it. It's not, I'm not totally dropping all the way down to 13 degrees like it would force you, right? Like it would just suck you right down to whatever degrees the your environment was. And it was really quickly doing it. It doesn't seem to be hitting as hard now. Okay. Oh, it just dropped right when I said that. So, 
If I lose three degrees, I will drink a coffee. Because uh, if you if you lose three degrees, more than three degrees, it'll really start sapping into your stamina, and which also starts cutting into your food. And oh, you know what? I am derping. Oh my goodness! Let's not derp. <laughs> I I forgot the drone works now. Yeah. <laughs> Tab in, tab out. That way we can check our temperature while we mine. Keep on top of it all the time. This is good finding this Prometheum though. I think, uh, I don't think we're gonna need much. We just need, you know, a good size, you know, maybe okay, more than that, more than 42. Like this might be a good size one here. So some of the I, it, it's it feels you know what? It's fifty. That's not bad. And we don't have a hundred yet. I really. That one looks really good down there, doesn't it? Looks pretty close too. Okay. Um, I really don't want to leave here without at least a hundred. Yeah, it's close to a hundred, but it wasn't a hundred. Okay. <laughs> it a, looks like a good size nugget right here. So. We can come back for more after. This is just the preliminary amount. 26, eek. Wasn't that great. 118. Uh, we still got quite a bit of bio and we still do have a, you know, lots of fiber. So, you know, if, if we're really starting to get challenged on fiber, I won't waste my, or on bio and we don't have a lot of fiber, I will not waste my last bio on my drill. Do, I'll do it on the chainsaw and cut, cut down a couple trees. Okay, so we dropped a degrees. So let's drink one of these. And that should just pop us right back up, but we just dropped right away. So it's getting much colder. It's too bad. I didn't, I don't want to use the tent if I don't have to. So I, I'm going to, I'm going to try not to tent it. Um, what are we at here? I think I need to keep going. I, I need to just keep going now. That That's good enough. I can deal with a hundred and a bit. Um, actually, I don't want to just grab that. Sometimes it bugs out and you lose everything. And because it is a experimental, I just <laughs> take, I'll take less chances than normal. Okay, so, hmm, where to go now? Uh, I guess down towards the flag then, right? To get more to the center. I mean, I guess I should have, did I come down this way? I think I came down this way. So we wouldn't have revealed anything close to there. So let's head down there. I want to, I got to be careful with my stamina if it's cold out. Sorry. I don't know why I'm, I don't know why I'm saying sorry to you guys, but I don't know why I'm running either. Oops. Let's get this raw. Hopefully I can find some other stuff because just iron and promethium ain't gonna cut it. I need silicone, I need copper. They're very essential. So we'll go into this, um, maybe going in close to the water will warm up a bit. Oh, it is. Yes, it's warming up a bit. Oh, well, it was. Some. Um, I want to pick all this plant protein. Oh crap! I forgot to. Oh, I guess. Picking. Oh no, it's spoiled. 
Yeah, it already spoiled on me. <laughs> Darn! I didn't even make anything out of it. <sighs> Poopiness. Really? I have protein 2. I have a bunch of those. They last for that. Let's do that. Because they only last 27. Okay, i got to remember not to let that spoil. They're still there. And, oh, God, those are about to spoil. So what do we... Vegetables, plant protein. So let's do this. Oh, it's super slow. Let's throw our... Um, Let's throw our survival constructor down and do it then. And we're gonna wash our heat again. I'm gonna I'm actually gonna take a spice and throw this in there and go like this and get some of these going. Just so that I can get them before they spoil. Because I'm derping. Did that just go from six to five vegetables? Oh, because my, my suit constructor is consuming vegetables to do it. Oh, darn. I like this because I think this one will be a little faster. So we're just taking a quick reprieve and quite cold. <sighs> We're actually kind of making it through the night, sort of, kind of. We're not complete. Uh, uh, okay, so it is noticeable that it isn't impacting us quite so severe that it used to, so the cold was ridiculous before. Oh, and it must have just consumed it because it didn't turn into spoiled food. Okay, good. So I got it all before it spoiled. I didn't get this stuff before it spoiled, though I'm not sure what that was because it wasn't plant protein. Okay, so we'll just before that stuff spoils, we'll turn into plant protein, and then that has an expiry time, and then just before that expires, we can turn it into energy bars. <laughs> to really extend the, um, um, so now if I stack that, is that gonna drop down to 97 for all of them? I don't really wanna chance it, to tell you the truth. Okay, so let's get going here. Dilly dallying, freezing, or gonna. Okay, so. Uh, we really need to find some more. Okay, that's going to be annoying if that's going to be flashing in my face while doing the doing the ghost constructor jig in front of my face while I walk. <clears throat> okay. Well, we're doing okay. We're not dead yet. We haven't really got the we haven't really got the ore that we really need although I do see some rocks over here now are they rocks or are they resource rocks oh they might be resource iron <laughs> oh it might be silicone no iron or is that silicone oh that might be silicone is that silicone no iron <laughs> crap <sighs> That's okay. Okay, so let's pull this down into my hot bar. We'll, we'll, let's eat that. That's going to perish pretty quick. That's going to perish. That's too bad. And then we'll start picking this stuff. And we're going to... Eat a couple of 
couple of those just to warm up kind of to 22. Um, yeah, the, the spice is too important now not to uh, not to go out of your way for it. You, it's, you have to pick it almost. It's, it's like required. Now there's some heat. Oh, oh, look at that. Look at that. Temperature. Oh my goodness. <laughs> okay, so where is this on the map? Okay, just about at the marker. Oh yeah, marker's just right over here. Huh. Nice. Maybe we just had to get further out of the forest. The forest seemed to be a lot colder. Okay, let's get all this stuff. And, oh, that was grain. Did you see that? Got the grain. Yeah. What's that? And grain. See, so you kind of can see it. It is disguised. Okay, it is disguised. And you can sort of accidentally just pick it up. Yeah. That's interesting. So... Well, it makes sense that the grain's growing in the swamp, right? Because it needs to. Use most most grains like that, you know, rice and well, wheat wheat not so much, but um, I guess rice. Oh, it's cold again, and it's okay. Nice. I find a planet that I can just hover at 15 at night? Oh, I like that. Yes, please. Wow, there's a lot of stuff to pick here. This is awesome. Level 5. <clears throat> it's too bad I don't have a fridge because everything's going to spoil. <laughs> I'm full. I don't really need to eat it. <laughs> I'm not freezing anymore. Uh, I guess I should make it into, oh, oh, silicone, really? Where, where's that? Oh my, oh my, silicone, here I go, oh yeah, we're going to freeze, that's okay, we've got, we've got a bunch of stuff to protect us against it now, so let's just, um, let's just suck it up and go for it, right? Absolutely. <clears throat> I don't want to run too much because my stamina won't gain as fast once my temperature starts dropping. Oh, there we go, the wreckage. Okay, so this... Okay, so I wasn't too far off, really, thinking where it would be. I thought it would be over here more, but... Um, okay. It was, a little bit, it was a little further than I thought. But right, that makes sense because it's probably about two kilometers away from, from the crash area. It seems to be the case, about two clicks. So, well... <clears throat> Maybe there'll be copper over here too then. One can only hope. Oops. G. What did G do? G. 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 And I'm not. Oh, you can go insto god mold by hitting G? What? Oops. <laughs> Wait, no. That's crazy. Really? You could accidentally just hit G and go into God mode? Um, hang on, let me Tolda. <sighs> no, it's not going, it's not, I don't think so. I don't know what's going on there. What's that map to? What's G map to? 
What can G be mapped to? That's craziness. G? Well, that's got to be a bug, right? Oh, yeah, I'm going to have to report that one. Okay, well, we won't, uh, we won't be hitting the G spot then. I, whatever. Ooh, it's getting really cold over here. Oh, and copper. Okay, so I was right. The trifecta of aw awesomeness should uh, kick in, and there's probably going to be iron over here, maybe another thing of promethium. We've got to watch our temperature here. I'm doing pretty good. I'm almost through the whole night. I think that's pretty good. Um, definitely uh, not as deadly, as extremely deadly. You still got to monitor it. You got to you got to do the things to keep yourself alive. But it's doable now. It's actually doable on medium, where it should it should be doable, right? As long as you as long as you do your due diligence and pay attention and get the stuff you need to to survive, you should be able to. And um, that's good. We've still got some coffee left on us, so those, I think I'm going to need to start using the coffees because the temperature is going to drop really fast with, um, with it below 10 now. So, And I don't know why I'm actually doing that again. <laughs> I can I can hear you guys going, what? Why aren't you using? Oh, and now it's bugged out. Oh, see that? There's another object in the spawn area. Now it's bugged out. Now I can't get my drone. Ah, really? What about if I hit G? No. <laughs> I don't know. I guess I bugged it out with the G. Ah, oh, G. <sighs> well, guys, I think I'm okay. Uh, I've got a lot of stuff to keep me alive, right? Like you can see, I've got all the got all the necessary things here. I've got a bunch of, and and the sun's gonna be coming up pretty soon. I've got lots of food, lots of stuff is spoiled. I just can't keep up with the. It's too bad that they didn't make biofuel use spoiled food still, because you. This, you just get a ton of spoiled food now, it seems. <sighs> and I didn't even use the tent to spoil my food. Um, yeah. I don't want to use up all the spice, but it it perishes and my my coffee doesn't, right? So Oops. <sighs> Is it Oh, that's too bad. That's too bad. Well, I think what we're going to do is we're going to call the episode here. I'm going to keep mining. I'm going to mine out as much as I can of the silicone and copper. I'm going to go check out the wreckage. Now, I already know what's at the wreckage. It's the personal cargo container, and it's got the, a survival constructor in it. It's got some spuds, or, or some sprouts, I should say, and I think some water. I think, I think that's it. Oh, maybe a drill too. No, I don't even think you get a drill. No, you just get the survival constructor and some, and some sprouts, some useless sprouts. Okay, guys. Well, uh, if you like this episode, give me a like. If you want to know when the next episode is going to be posted, uh, subscribe and make sure that your notifications are turned on. So, um, I'm just going to reiterate. I I like the changes so far. They have fixed the I think they actually have fixed the temperature thing because I am able to actually deal with it and it's almost going to be daytime again and the temperature is going to start rising and you just have to do your diligence, go around, pick, do the, do what you need to, have the stuff you need to, to deal with the cold and you can do it now. So they, so that's good. You just can't ignore it, which it seems I'm almost doing right now. So let's, 
drink one of those just to get it back up to some reasonable level there. Okay, guys. Well, uh, this was good. I think this is a really good start here. We've got uh, copper and silicone right here. Now we've already got a good pile of promethium and iron. So I think we're going to be able to pull this off. Um, what did I get up to? I got up to level five. So I'm there. I'm at level five. I just need to go mine these and then I'll, um, I'll probably go camp out on the water, on the shores of the water and spawn in my HV or at least get that going. So that next episode, uh, I hope that's the, that should be what I should be able to do is spawn in an HV next episode. So, so stay tuned guys until then. You guys have yourselves an awesome, awesome day.